Hi, I'm Paul from Ecotalk. I'm at, I'm at the Newport Wetlands RSP Reserve with Stefan here, who's the Membership Development Officer, right Stefan? That's correct. Great. Thank you for hosting us today. It's an incredible landscape behind us, isn't it? I've never seen anything quite like this reed bed. Is this all natural? It actually, it's, it's most of it is man-made. Okay. So that was wasteland of the power station, the reserve. So it was just fly ash and wow. no one would come here. And it was all man-made with the lagoons, with the reed beds, and it's now, yeah, it has transformed completely over the last 20 years. Fantastic. And what kind of species would we find here? It, it really varies throughout the year a lot. So you get also here the little warblers uh, coming in spring, like reed warbler, sedge warbler. We have the cuckoo on site as well, which is always a very enigmatic species. And during the autumn and winter, we have the huge starling murmuration with up to 50,000 birds. And out on the mudflats on the coast, we have a lot of wading birds, dunlin, curlew, black-tailed godwits, lapwing, and again, in, in really good numbers and quite spectacular displays. Okay, so I, I guess a lot of migratory birds, but there are some that are here year-round throughout the winter as well, are there? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. It looks enormous. We're going to go for a walk a bit later, but um, how many acres are here, do you know? It, well, it's actually, it's part of the Gwent levels, and it, it is a quite big area you have a bit further down a few miles it's Goldcliff Lagoons which is also part of the whole um, reserve as well and that's again a system of lagoons which is fantastic for wading birds and, and ducks so it's it's really a, a big big area. Okay great so is there a particular species here that when you see it Stefan gets really excited? Yes and actually that's not a bird that's a mammal and that's the otter. The otter? Sorry. Wow. Every day I go out in the vain hopes that I might see an otter. Okay. Which hasn't happened so often this year, this winter. So we see more of it during the winter time than during other times of the year. But last winter we had very regular sightings of the otter and whenever I see one it just sends a shiver down my spine. I was out today again hoping to see it. I saw some traces of the otter. It has been there at some point in the last few days. But once again I wasn't the lucky okay. one to see it. Well, it's clearly such a special place here, and I'm sure it's the whole ecosystem, right? It, it won't just be the birds that depend on this environment to, to thrive. What about the invertebrates here? Are there any key species? Oh, yes. I mean, we have a lot of insects on site, and especially summer is a fantastic time to see them. Um, some of them might not have, have as many birds around, but we have a lot of insects. So we have lots of dragonflies, different species, and one very rare species we have on site, probably the rarest of all of our species, is a shrill carder bee, okay. which is a small bumblebee with a very high-pitched buzz. That's where it gets its name from. And Newport Wetlands is one of only five sites in the UK where it still exists. Do you know what it is about this environment that helps that be in particular? Well, they, they need a lot of um, wetland areas which are undisturbed and where no roads cut through and things like that. And unfortunately, in these days and ages, that's a very rare thing. So in, in Britain, you don't find huge wetland areas um, like that anymore, which species not only the shrill carnaby but like the shrill carnaby depend on. Okay so it's really the right habitat is the it number is, one yeah. thing is it? Okay well that, that's something our customers know very well. Brings me back to the to the main port, point of Ecotalk is it's all about buying land to give back to nature. It's a really really easy way to help nature uh, just by swapping your sim over to an Ecotalk sim um, every month we're going to be making donations to the RSPB to buy more wonderful places like this to help the birds, help the bees and, and everything else that depends on these spaces.